and friends. Frog goes up, up, up. The wind made ripples on the frog's pond. When he woke up from his sleep, he saw something float on the water. Something he had never seen before. It was big, big. It was orange. It had a tail. Frog called his friends. Come see. There is a thing in my pond. It does not talk. It does not move. It just lies there in the water. I think it's a big egg. Maybe hippopot maybe a hippopotamus egg. Rabbit said, We do not have any hippopotamus s here. Frog told her. I think it's a big, big bubble. Possum said. Frog shook his head. Who ever heard of an orange bubble? I think it is a humongous seed. Raccoon said. I think that it is a thing with a long, ugly, skinny tail. Squirrel said. Frog swam closer. Pull its long, ugly, skinny tail, Squirrel said. Then see what happens. Do not. Possum said, a Possum advised, it might do something bad. Be brave, Squirrel urged. Frog swam closer. He took hold of Thing's tail. Just then the wind came strong. It skidded Thing across the pond. Suddenly Thing rose up, up, up. Let go, let go of the tail. Rabbit called. Frog was too far above the pond. He was scared to let go. Rabbit ran for the long, ugly, skinny tail and caught it. She swung behind Frog, then up, up, up. Then Squirrel ran and swung behind Rabbit, then Possum. The thing began to sink down, down, down. Possum's feet were on the ground, then Squirrels, then Rabbits, then Frogs. They fell in a froggy, rabbity, squirrely, possumy heap. Things started to rise again. It bumped into the oak tree and bam! It was the loudest bang in the world. Drifting from the oak tree were little pieces of thing. We killed it, Frog moaned. Oh, that is so sad. We must have a funeral, Rabbit said. A nice one. To show we are sorry, Frog added. They dug a small hole under the oak tree and buried all the little bits of thing. They held paws and sang a sorry song. I wonder what thing was, Rabbit asked. Frog shook his head. I suppose we never know.